Hello, welcome to Castlevania Symphony, Symphony, I still can't say it right, Symphony of the Night, Episode 2. Um, so to get started, uh, you may remember from the last episode I was having trouble finding a map. I did find it now. If you hit the left trigger on the Xbox controller there, you get the map. So we figured that out, which is pretty cool. Um... So I just wanted to do a little bit of backtracking here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, it's still not really like a full map like you get with... Well, I guess it is. Um, you can't like hit pause and view the whole map like you kind of can in, in Metroid and stuff like that. But we'll make do with what we got. So riding the elevator here. This reminds me a lot of Resident Evil. was there. So this game is still taking uh, some getting used to for me and excuse me if you just heard me burp there. Um, still some stuff. Oh, I, I remember the cannon. <laughs> the cannon at the wall. But yeah, this game, I'm still still trying to figure everything out. It's still not, um... There's a how to play, like, in the menu, but I don't find it to be all that useful. So this is annoying. Can't really get down there without taking a hit. Once again, getting down there is not going to be fun. Yeah, we're just gonna plow our way through it there. So that was pretty ugly, but I just remember in the early sections of the game there was some stuff that I think I avoided because I kept dying, so I was gonna go back and just make sure. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Still can't get over the comic goriness of all that. Don't want to go down that one, I don't think. Or maybe there's a secret there, I don't know. These zombies get real... Um, yeah, they, they get real inconvenient. past the zombie room there. So I think this is one of the pla- yeah. So I definitely... I think in the, in the first episode I went through here and tried to get down here but I died. Oh, there's something back there that I can't get to. These guys are jerks. There goes 30 of my health. I'm almost dead. All 
All right. Well, we got our first death of the episode. Back to our good old title screen that I don't fully understand, or game over screen. So I think that's going to become a theme throughout this game is that stupid game over screen. <clears throat> also, you might get annoyed. Um, now that I've found the map, I tend to pull it up a lot. So I think we're just looking here. Oh, that's how you use the shield. So if you use the, I think it's the B button, you get the shield. All right, so this is where we fought these guys. So I'm sorry if the beginning of this episode is going to be frustrating for people that have played this game before, but I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. There's no alternate paths or, oh, completely missed that. Door is magically sealed, so we saw that before. So there's a little area that's not filled in. But I'm not sure if that pillar is blocking it. Oh, did I just. So that I can't get beyond the pillar there. I think we've pretty much got our bearings here and can start to try to make some forward progress. So I'm not sure why I'm glowing like that. I don't know if it has anything to do with. I can't still be poisoned, right? Because I'm not losing any health. You just knocked the shield off of me. Alright, I think we need to go to the top of this. I still haven't figured out, I mean, oh, I'm not sure, I like the good old axe. Um, I still haven't quite figured out where I'm going to use this money. I'm assuming there's got to be, a, you know, something. Again. Oh, it's this one. I don't even know what that one really does. It's a hand. Alright, so there's a door here. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, the marble gallery. The uh, mixture of Gran Turismo and Goldeneye music. See what's going on up here. I don't appear to be glowing anymore. I wonder what that was all about. If you notice, I had like the multicolor, like purple. Couldn't have been from poison, right? I don't think I was losing health from it. I think we might have just gone in a little bit of a circle. Alright, get a little beat up. See, here I am again. <laughs> you say what? Let's look at how I'm like purpley. But like typically when you're poisoned, I got a new, uh, Cure, cure ass. Still wearing my sunglasses. So I guess I still have the leather shield. So I don't know if I'm using potions right. I typically just equip them into one of my hands and use them that way. I don't know if that's the proper way to do it. I feel like it's not. Those guys. Hmm. Interesting. Can I use two? Look. At All right. So just mess around, my Hey, sir, let me in. So yeah, I was just kind of messing around with, uh, sir. Very aggressive, Jehovah's Witness there. Um. I was just trying to see, you know, how far you could go with the... Because you have two hands you can equip stuff in. And you can equip two different swords, although I don't know how useful that would be. these guys. Again, if you hear me burp at all, I, I apologize. Alright, so we're taking the leap of faith here, I think. Yep. So we can either go up, or we can go down. Oh, stick with the knife. Up oh, there's a uh, Lumiere, whatever his name is. Be our guest. And we got another save room. All right. So let's roll the twenty-sided die there. So as I said, sorry for that little detour, but now we are. Going to try to make some forward progress here. <clears throat> There's got to be a door or something there. Amazing to think that, you know, in the early Castlevania games, you couldn't, like, part of what I think I enjoyed about it was the fact that, like, when you jumped, that was it. You committed to that jump. You couldn't, like, move yourself midair. In this game, you can. I don't know if you could in, like, I played the Nintendo ones, and I don't think you, you can't in that one. I don't know if you could in, like, the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis ones, but these things are creepy. The, like, doll things. Like, what even is that? 
I'm sure it's got a name. I'm sure there's some lore about it somewhere, but... So apparently the knife doesn't really work on... on... her? Nothing creepy about that. I love playing this around the house and like girlfriends in the other room and you just hear like this <laughs> like whine. I'm waiting for it to be like, what are you playing? So that shows enemy damage. So if I remember right, we did go this way in episode one and I got my butt handed to me pretty soundly, so Let's see if I can do better this time. Alright, so it doesn't appear... I'm assuming green is not good in this case. So I'm assuming that means I gotta just run up to him and slash him. Just avoid that big ball. Well, we are definitely making more progress, I think, than the last time I fought this guy. Still trying to figure out the timing on that thing. And he's got to be going down pretty soon. There it is. Alright, we finally got back that guy. Can't destroy his balls, so he's just going to sit there. Alright, we made some progress. Well, that's it, everyone. No, I'm kidding. Alright, so we got... Uh, some, looks like some chair-wielding skeletons. are like, uh, uh, oh. oh. Those also make a very disconcerting noise. It's like the ghosts in Mario or whatever they are. Okay, alright, alright, everybody. Let's just take it easy. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Okay, we got another guy here. Oh, 20 health. Oh, we are, oh shoot, three health. I think we got him. Nope, that will, that will do it. So we are back to the glorious game over screen once again. If I were motivated and felt like doing some editing, I would put in a counter, but I'm not going to do that. So for now, we're just going to keep counting our heads of how many times I'm going to see the game over screen. Alright, back to it. Be our guest. I'm sorry, I find that funny every time, so if you don't like that joke, then. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry for you. Alright, I think we'll take a look. 
So we know what's down there. We know it's some big jerk who's gonna kill me in like three hits. So let's go up this way. Okay, yep, we've been here before. Stupid little frog things. Wait a moment. You see Oh uh, yeah, Maria. What do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. What do you hear? Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. As in, what I'm are Maria. you doing here? Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. This guy, well, what a card. We'll Alucard. Again. If you live Get that it. long, farewell. So I don't really know what that move, that thing does up there. I feel like it should do something, but... So I would like to try and find a better, because like the knife, oh, these guys are jerks, the knife doesn't seem to really affect the bosses, or if that's even what they are. Come on, Ben, we can get up there. Um, oh, jeez. So I'd like to find a more, a better, maybe, item and see if that gives me a leg up. Going back to fight those dudes. sealed door. So I don't know why I flash like randomly like blue. I don't know if you noticed that right after I leveled up. I just flashed like a little bit of like a greenish bluish. These enemies are even that hard to, to beat without using the time thing. I think I'm just being lazy. Let's see here. No, there. That was not hard, so... Maybe I shouldn't have been using that stop stopwatch thing. Zelda flower. 
can't like. Oh, we'll get the. This should be pretty good. We'll keep keep the axe. Chop their heads off and get a Deku stick for it. All right, the outer wall. Oh jeez. Oh, that doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. I think he took a self-defense course. Stop! Oh, they got me there. And those are... This is our first sighting of Medusa heads, looks like. This guy does not want to go down. Hit him! Hit him! Alright, I think we're gonna... Mist could not... Mist could pass. And we are undone by our first Medusa head. Okay. Once again, I think this is the third time this episode we are back to the game over screen. And we're only about halfway through this recording, so still time to make some more. All right, so we got a choice on our hands. We could either go back down and fight some of those bosses, or we could make our way over to the outer wall area and try to explore that a little more. So we're gonna take our chances here with the basement. Let's see what I can do. I think this is also turning into a moment where I'm not sure if like there's a specific item or something that would really help me fight some of these these like boss characters or if it's just a matter of figuring out their patterns and not getting hit too many times because like the first guy that I fought I mean yeah that first guy that I fought like first time I fought him, you know, that ball took me out pretty quickly, but once I learned how to dodge it, it was super easy. So I wonder if maybe with that second guy it's the same thing. That noise is even a little bit unnerving, just the hearing of the like the joints clicking or whatever, coming to life. Even though it's probably the same as like a dry bones or something like that. Alright, so we are back to fighting the old ball and chain here. So he kind of does like a little hokey pokey move. So he throws the thing, and then he'll take a step forward, and then he'll take a few steps back, and you can add a hit in there. Got about three or four hits in that time. Get the heck out of there. Is he wearing jean shorts? Is this an Iron Maiden concert? 
Actually, that's... That'd be appropriate, I think, for this game. Oh, we got the... WWE skeletons here. Oh, he's just gonna hunker down. Nope, nope, I'm back. I wish I could do an impression of the uh, wrestling announcers, but I can't. I can do Macho Man. Oh, yeah! Let me tell you something. That was awful. I was going to say, let me tell you something, Hulk Hogan, in my Macho Man Randy Savage voice, but that was not a good impression, so I cut it off short. I'm not an impressionist. Although, if I say impressionist, is that more of a painter? What do you call someone who... I'm neither an impressionist in painting, nor am I in doing impressions. Alright, so we got a few hits on that guy. I did like 40 damage, 50 damage, right off the bat. Hit the flames. I think we're... Oh, that wasn't good. That's a one fireball that 32 damage. Damn. Oh, okay, so... That's cool. So we find ourselves in a real predicament, because that guy... I mean, he did 32 damage in one fireball, and then threw that... I don't even know what you call that. It looks like the thing Kirby does in, uh, I think it's Super Smash. I think Kirby does that. It's almost a little amazing they didn't have a, um... They didn't even put, like, when you die, like, in, like just a little dialogue box that comes up and says, you know, do you want to reload your last save? Instead, they make you go back to the title screen, and then you gotta reload. I mean, it takes two seconds. It's a... really not a problem, but... Just one of those things we're spoiled with as modern gamers. I've been doing some research lately into finding, like... I want to get wireless controllers for as many consoles as I have, because um, I know they make some. Actually, I got the, I might have mentioned, I got the 8-bit Do controller, the SN30, for my um, Super Nintendo Classic. I have adapters for the Super Nintendo Classic and the um, the NES, or I have the retro, retro USB AVS system, which is pretty awesome if you're looking for a... HDMI NES and don't feel like buying the HDMI mods and all that stuff. Um, but I was looking into wireless controllers and like I couldn't find one for the N64 and I was like, how could I not find one for the N64? And it's like, well, it came out in 19... what, 96 in America and <laughs> never had one officially released as far as I know, so this would just be third-party people working on it. He just gets so spoiled by modern convenience. So why do I keep turning blue like that? That's I don't know what that is either. I guess I'll have to go on the either download a instruction manual or go on the forums or something or keep asking myself, asking these questions. Like, why am I turning blue? Or why am I turning purple? Alright, so we know he's going to do his jump thing. We know he throws one fireball down and then, oh, nope, wrong guy. Whoops. This guy we know. I'm just trying to go over the pattern of second boss. And we got hit there. So he's got, um, he'll jump up, 
I can hit him when he's in the air. I can hit his feet. And I know he jumps. He shoots one fireball down at the ground. Oh, me. And then he does... He shoots out the three straight ahead that I can kind of... I can destroy with my sword. Oh, we got a little situation developing here. It's like one of those things where they only they only do one damage, but it's just really annoying. And they're gonna follow me into this thing. I like just the worst angle. And he's still coming, alright. There is some little stuff like that that I find annoying. Guess I'll have the Ever resist thunder, whatever that means. Is that like a anti anti diuretic? If that's the right word. No, so I attached the potion so that I can. All right, so we're already off to a great start. Down to ten health. Use the potion. Avoid his fireballs. Well, that was that was wonderful. And here we are again for like the fifth time. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're someone that knows this game and is just frustrated by how I'm making zero progress. I am actually a little bit stuck right now. But I kind of just want to pick one path and just keep at it until... Because I'm not sure... I feel like I should be able to beat that guy, right? I don't know. Just looking over my stats here. Seeing what level I'm at and all that. All right, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. At some point, just realizing that I've got full hearts, so smashing these Lamp post isn't doing much for me. One thing you'll notice um, the more I do these videos and the more I play stuff. I can be a pretty persistent fella. Excuse me. So, uh... It almost becomes very personal. So you won't see me really giving up or stopping. I will bang my head against the wall until I win. Which is, ironically, I think how you beat some of the early Castlevania games. Especially, like, they're tough. So we got the dash there, which I could probably use in this fight. Probably just do a couple of dashes. No, no, we're just gonna run. So we kinda can. But one dash won't get oh, I can but one dash wouldn't get me out of out of trouble, so you gotta use at least two. They're taking my lunch money, like, hey, hey, Alucard. I'm 
Makes me think of, uh, you ever played Max Payne? Um, there's these sections in Max Payne that are like these weird dream nightmare sequences where you have to walk, like, you basically have to walk along these tight catwalk sort of things. It's like a blood trail, and, um, he's like reliving the death of his family and all that sort of stuff. But like, if you fall, so if you're if you're walking along and you fall, it's just this most blood curdling scream. So once again, it only takes like three hits and I'm dead from that guy. So here again we find ourselves at the title screen. So this is a bit of an anticlimactic episode so far. Not making a ton of progress. But we'll give it another try. We'll see what we can do here. forget what I said earlier about <laughs> smashing a bunch of lampposts when you've got full full hearts There just seems to be no rules in how they move. They're like, we can move however the, however we want and make life difficult for you. Okay, we got a small potion there. Still don't know what that blue... I don't get that. Like, why am I all of a sudden just turning blue? Still love the sign that says in the window there. Near full health, so let's see if we can kill this guy without taking too much. Ooh. So yeah, backdashing. I just barely escaped that guy. There we are. 65 out of my 80 health I think I have total. Down there, crying in the corner. He doesn't want to get up. back fighting this guy we're so off to a great start all right I'm down to one <laughs> all right, let's use some of these potions here oh it's a smart it's a smart potion not a small potion I should take the smart potion because I has the dumb apparently all right oh Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it, unfortunately, for this episode. So pretty anticlimactic, I must say. Um, not a lot of progress made there. I'm going to do some research, and then the next time I play, we'll uh, figure out why I'm glowing blue and all that stuff. But yeah, so that was episode two. 
as anticlimactic as that was, um, we'll try again next time. So I'll see you all uh, next time in episode three.